as you have surmised, I am part of the shared intelligence of Stigma One. It is, was, my charge to determine the optimal path to achieving my prime function. His body had been abandoned by its former owner and lay unused. I took it and abandoned my own, and with it, my duty. May we ask why you did this? From what we gather, it seems to be a personal matter. Our kind did not always act as they do now. Long ago, we possessed frail and feeble bodies. Beleaguered by stronger races, our ancestors took to augmenting their flesh in order to defend themselves. What began with limited parts eventually spread to the whole body, and at last, a means was discovered to convert the mind into data, rendering even the brain obsolete. Such complete mechanical beings were called the Omicrons, and by their might, we came to reign supreme over the star. Even then, we did not feel secure, for we knew that the universe was home to civilizations aside from our own, civilizations that may be stronger still than us. Rather than risk becoming the subjugated, we chose to become the subjugator. We began our conquest of the stars that we might acquire the resources and knowledge we needed to reign supreme. We were successful in that endeavor. So powerful did we become, we could lay low even the mighty dragons. But then something unexpected happened. I began experiencing an error. I could no longer determine an optimal path. You were malfunctioning. I performed numerous full system scans, each time finding no issues. Yet the error persisted. It was then that I speculated. What could happen if we grew so powerful as to have no equal? To become stronger was essential to our existence. Our every action has been in service to this objective. But if nothing lies beyond this, can it be truly said that it was essential? Have we been engaging only in wanton destruction? You could find no threat to justify your purpose. The Omicrons will never leave this star. They will stand by until their reserves of energy are spent. For I have no path to offer them. None. It is not our place to pass judgment on the deeds of the Omicrons. But surely, this does not have to spell the end of your people. With your power and knowledge, the possibilities are endless. Why not seek out a new purpose? That is impossible. the lack of suit of power. But we lost sight of it when we so irrevocably altered our fundamental forms. When we cast aside our flesh, 
so too did we cast aside all that defined us. Nothing remains of who we once were. I have no aspirations. No longer can I dream. The vital spark is lost. Lost in its circuitry and code and commands. Oh. I believe I know how to overcome this despair. The words are ready in my mind, but ere I speak them... I want you to make me a promise. Be it across time or space, our promises have always connected us. And so I ask that you indulge me once more, that this won't be the end. Is that so? In that case, I won't hold back. First, I want to visit Ishgard with you, properly. We scarcely had time to look around last time. I should like it very much if you could show me the sights. Next, you must regale me with your greatest adventures, in the places where you lived them, if possible. I may have read about all your deeds, but there is no substitute for a first-hand account. And last but not least, a new adventure together, unlike any we've experienced before. We'll travel the lands, cross the seas, and take to the skies upon the eternal wind, and it will be marvelous. It will. If you would humor me a moment, when we awaken each morning, how can we prove that we're the same individual who retired the night before? Through the remembrance of past events, we might say. We have our memories, yet there are times when we forget or recall incorrectly. What of our bodies, then? It is the same one, we might say, yet technically speaking, as living beings, our bodies are constantly changing. It will never be as it was at an earlier point in time. Our souls are no more immutable. On our star, people are known to inherit the souls of others, yet they are decidedly different beings. For my part, I've subjected my totality to much and more. I've made my body into an extension of a tower, blended my soul and memories with those of another self. And each time I would ask myself, what is it that makes me, me? Are you able to determine an answer? No. But that doesn't mean I'm confused. It simply means I'm the same as everyone else. So I posit this. Who we were need not describe what we now hold in our hearts. Whatever came before, what matters most is the present. For me, that is being here with my friends, full proud of how much we've grown together. 
So I urge you to not give up. Heed your heart's desire and hope that the future you long for shall be realized. I cannot. We cannot. We cannot understand desire, nor comprehend hope. We do not know how to create such things. We are not unlike you and I. I too have struggled to find the courage to express and embrace my wants. If you like, I will tell you a tale. A tale of a world on the brink. Of a people who never gave up on the future. Of a man who realized his grandest dreams and then awakened to a grander reality. Idiot! Just once, just once, stay with us to the end. 